Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. It's the home opener of this new season between the San Antonio Missions and the Iowa Cubs. Stepping in, Corey Ray, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1-1. One, one. Looped out towards short. And there's one down now. Now at the plate, Jace Peterson hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four-hit contest yesterday afternoon. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Swinging a soft liner and an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. Digging in, Ryan first Healy. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Healy. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ian Miller. It'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. 1-1. It's going to be a drag bunt. He gets it down. Barehanded. Got him. And what a vital play there preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. Stepping into the box, Zach Short. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And the pitch. Ball. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. Popped him up. Rodriguez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Digging in now, Josh Fegley. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Into the corner and slicing foul. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Hernan Perez. Man at first after the two-out walk. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ground ball right side. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Into the box, Daniel Descalzo. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pulled toward right center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Logan Morrison. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Now to the plate, Lucas Ersay. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1 2. Bases are empty, one man out. He 
inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here it comes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in. Ronnie Rodriguez. He comes in right on the heels of driving in five runs in yesterday's ball game. To short. He's right there. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning at the plate. Mark Sagunas. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Way outside. Nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So now to the plate, Jared Young. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Chasing after it is Ray. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. At the plate now, Charcer Burks. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The 2-2. Two -two. It's laid off, and the count runs full. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Swung on in the dirt, and that's a strikeout. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Ian Miller. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A three and one pitch. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. He pulls into second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. In now, Zach Short on the ground to the right side. Peterson has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Digging in for his second at bat, Josh Fegley. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The 3-1. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Now back, second base hit. To the plate now, Hernan Perez. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. In the dirt here. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. The 2-2 two -two pitch. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Hard hit ball to second. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him.
stepping up to the plate, Yuanhel Segovia. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in okay. some runs. So digging in now, David Fry. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Swing and a ground ball to third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now here it comes. Uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. The pitcher. So here now is the pitcher, Zach Brown. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Fouled away. The one two. No. So you'd love for him to offer it that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. That's a base hit, their first of the game. Now batter. The center fielder. Corey. Ray. Standing in now, Corey Ray. Ball. And he lays off again, ball three. three ball. No cut. reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. At the plate, Daniel Descalzo flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 2 1 home. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. One out, nobody on. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Now the pitch. Liner towards second. And that's in for a base hit. His second in his many trips to the plate. The first baseman, number 19. Into the box now, Jared Young. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Zagunas is off of first with two away. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two gets him looking, strike three. set for the start of the fourth stepping in and ready for another shot Jace Peterson line towards center field but this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out so one away here with the bases empty and in next the first baseman slash DH Ryan Healy Fastball in there, three and two. Full count. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the big left-handed bat of Logan Morrison. A one one. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The batter, the third baseman, 
Luca Erser. Stepping in now, Lucas Erser. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jarrell Cotton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Two and two the count. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Ray waits on it. Makes the play one away. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Ian Miller. He's working on a one for two game so far. A one one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Bases are empty. One man out. Hit out towards second. There's Peterson. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now that is standing in, Zach Short. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. One and one, here it comes. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Peterson fields it cleanly. On to Healy at first, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Into the box now, Ronnie Rodriguez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he fouls this one off. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Miller will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Striding in once again, Yohanhel Segovia. Yohanhel Segovia. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Miller is there, two gone. Ready for another chance. David Fry comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 1 1. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. Two balls and two strikes now. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. C.J. Inahosa will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 30, C.J. Inahosa. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The 3 2, one more time. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it, and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Shelby Miller will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Now at the plate, Josh Fegley singled home a run in his last time up. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. 
And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Now that Stepping in, Hernan Perez. He's one for two in the ball game. As a look, now the pitch. Fouled off. The one two. Nobody out, runner on first. The one and two pitch. Not in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. At the plate now, Daniel Descalzo. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Stepping into the box, Mark Sagunas. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. The one two in the dirt but swung on and missed and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning now in the box Jared Young he's one for two in this one runners at second and third with two gone and that's outside he lost him ball four Coming to the plate now, Charcer Burks. He got called out on strikes his last time through. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go in. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So the lineup flips over and digging in Corey Ray. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Just behind the fastball there two strikes now. Well obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night this entire roster. They've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Even count two balls and two strikes. Full count, three and two. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. High and deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying, but this will land untouched. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. The battle. Into the box, Jace Peterson. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Short is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. No hits to this point. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jarrell Cotton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's a hot shot that'll be caught at first base. A sizzler that time, but the leadoff man is retired to begin the home sixth. One out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. 
And it misses three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fastball too high. Ball four. Settling in now. Zach Short. He was a ground down victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. The count now at two and two. Comes set. Now the pitch. And a fastball. Blew it right by him, and there are two down. Digging in, Josh Figley. It was a walk in his last trip. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Miller sets. Here's the one two. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So striding forward now, Logan Morrison. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Now Lomo turns on one and sends it to deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Casey Sadler will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Into the box, Lucas Ersig. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Striding in, Ronnie Rodriguez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. That's a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Miller will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Into the box now, Juanjel Segovia. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. The 3-1 and one pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Stepping up now, David Fry. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Runners are at first and second with one away. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Number 20. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Luke Parker will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Last half of the seventh here, striding into the box, Hernan Perez. So far, two for three in this one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. 
Now a ball foul down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Here's the pitch. Right side. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. At the plate, Daniel Descalso drilled the first. There's one to Healy for the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Mark Sagunas. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ball. Three balls, two strikes, the count is full. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Ready once again, Jared Young. One for two on his line so far in the game. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. That's just a right there. Great execution. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Tyler Olson will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Corbin Joseph will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Ready on one and two. Corbin Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Now batting, Jace Peterson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1 home is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Olsen has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jason Peterson goes down for out number two in the top half. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Mike Morin is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eight. Number 47. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Digging in to try it again. Charcer Burks. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ray waits on it. Makes the play one away. So stepping in, Corbin Joseph. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. A 1 1 is strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes. That's foul. The one two catches the corner got him looking coming to the plate now Ian Miller it was a walk in his last trip a good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two swung on but fouled off to the left. Not your normal put away pitch a two strike fastball down in the zone but he was able to get wood on it and foul it away. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. A ball and two strikes here's the pitch got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Brandon Morrow comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. 
All set to start the ninth in this one. Ready now, Logan Morrison. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. A ball and two strikes now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. And it's fouled away. Another one, two. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Now, the third now at the plate, Lucas Erce. It was a walk in his last trip. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Birch will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. So striding in, Ronnie Rodriguez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Two and two the count. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Cubs took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jarrell Cotton gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. Zach Brown was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Brandon Morrow earns the save out of the bullpen his second. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score, first for the victorious Iowa Cubs. Four runs on eight hits. No error. They left nine runners on base. For the mission, one run, four hits. No error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please.